Hi guys, Fish here, and welcome to Gameology, and today I just want to talk about Blackout, because as you know, it's, it's all over now, the beta is over, we can't play any more Blackout until October the 12th, when the game is fully released, and I just wanted to talk about it, I wanted to talk about how Blackout, or in my opinion, why Blackout is better than Fortnite. Bear in mind, this is coming from a PlayStation 4 player, I've not played it on Xbox, I haven't used a keyboard and mouse from Fortnite or on Blackout. Bearing also in mind that I'm not exactly the greatest at this this type of game mode. So the gameplay you're going to be seeing in the background here is going to be Blackout gameplay. And it's, uh, you know, you know don't, 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 don't be expecting like victory to be popping up on the screen anytime soon. <laughs> so let's just get right into it. I'm going to start with the big one. There's no building. Yeah, I'm going straight in for the kill. The building in Fortnite, in theory, is great, but if you haven't got the knowledge and skill, like me, to build quick and strategic protection, then you're more than fucked. Then, when it comes to the end of the game and you've killed every enemy in sight because your gun game is on point, unlike mine, you get done in by a daft ass son of a bitch camping little cunt in the top of a homemade empire state building its... <clears throat> Sorry. It's annoying, to say the least. Spawning. Now, after that Thanos snap of an entry, it's it's time to slow down. In Fortnite, you have to wait for everyone to ready up, like, like in PUBG as well. This can prove annoying, waiting for your friend who's on the phone or who's taking his shit. So, uh, imagine you've been killed straight away in the, in the last game. Shit, right? Now, this time around, you want to do better, yes? Of course you do, but like spawn timers slow down your flow and momentum in like games of like capture the flag and stuff. So does this piece of shit. But in Blackout, you can start the game so, so, so much quicker. Because your host just needs to press go. So unless your host is the one on the phone or taking your shit, you're pretty much sorted. How good is that? Vehicles. Yes, Fortnite has added, well, kind of a vehicle. But it's slow and easy to shoot. Blackout, however, has more vehicles and faster ones. You've got the uh, ATV or the quad bike, that supply truck thing, you've got a boat and a helicopter, a helicopter obviously being the best out of those, in my opinion, I've not actually done very well in a helicopter, I think I've flown one once, I got shot out of the sky straight away, but oh well, all of these make it easier to, to traverse this map, outrunning the circle on Fortnite is difficult, especially later on in the game, but not in Call of Duty, you know, no, because you run fast anyway, but then the vehicles are obviously quicker. I just hope they do something about the the motion of the vehicles because it doesn't feel like going very fast. Zombies. Blackout has zombies. How cool is that? They can be a pain in the ass, but still. Guns and stuff. Yes, Call of Duty is known for its guns as it's a gun game. And in this game, the guns feel really solid in play. The recoil is good. The sounds are great. The style of the guns is good, and the attachments are great as well. That's the point. Fortnite doesn't have gun attachments, does it? Apart from, like, guns that already come with attachments on it, like the silenced submachine gun. Um, you can attach pretty much anything to any gun in this. Extended mags, extended muzzles, silencers, scopes, and stocks too. So if you have the time, you can get the gun you want, and play the way you want. Oh, uh, you can get the ray gun as well. The fucking ray gun. And last but not least, it's Call of Duty. <sighs> it's Call of fucking Duty. Now, say what you will about COD, but it is indeed the most solid first-person shooter game engine out there. Period. And because of this, the games are a great balance of fast-paced action and that slow pace you come to know and love from a Battle Royale game. And that, my friends, is it. So, in my personal opinion, will this game destroy and kill Fortnite? No. Fortnite is way too big, it's free for a start, and it's everywhere. I know COD's going to be everywhere, but it's not free. It's a big £50 game. Will it beat PUBG though? Well, yeah. Hi guys, I hope you've enjoyed that video, and if you have, please remember to smack that like button and subscribe. And I hope to see you next time. See you later.